What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be cooking your classic pot sticker, but with a little bit of a twist. We're going to cook some short rib low and slow until it's nice and tender. We're going to wrap those up and then we're going to give them a fry. It should be delicious. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for all the support. If you haven't yet, go down below and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It helps me out so much. Uh, but besides that, sit back, relax, and let's elevate it. All right, welcome back everybody. Really excited for this one, so let's get into it. First thing you're gonna be doing is peeling and grating about a half knob of ginger. That's gonna come out to about one tablespoon. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel and mince five cloves of garlic. After that, we're gonna add about a half cup of soy sauce to a mixing bowl, along with about one cup to one and a half cups of chicken stock. About right here is where you're gonna see I realize I have way too small of a container, so move that into a bigger bowl, and then you're gonna add about two tablespoons of sriracha, about a half cup of packed brown sugar, and three tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. And then you just have to give that a mix and we'll get on to the beef. And for this we're gonna be using about two pounds of bone-in short rib that we're gonna be generously seasoning with salt and we're gonna be making sure that it comes to room temperature. From there, we're gonna heat up some oil on medium-high heat in a Dutch oven until you know you're gonna get that nice sizzle. Something like this. Ah, the sweet sound of browning. So now, we're gonna brown these on all sides and we wanna make sure that we work in batches here so we're not gonna cool down the pan too much. Once you've browned all those up, we're gonna turn that heat down to low, we're gonna add them all back to the pot, and we're gonna cover the beef with that braising liquid that you made earlier. And we wanna make sure that the short rib is barely covered with liquid, so if you have to add some chicken stock along the way, you can certainly do so. and we're gonna put on the lid, making sure to keep it a little bit cracked just to let that moisture out. And we're gonna leave this on low for about three hours or until it looks like this and it's nice and fork tender. Now while all that cools, let's make the rest of our pot sticker filling. So we're gonna go ahead and thinly slice a half head of cabbage here. Along with that, we're gonna go ahead and de-seed one jalapeno, and we're gonna finely dice that along with three green onions and a solid handful of cilantro. Woo! Mix that all up in a large bowl with about two tablespoons of rice vinegar to season it, and we're gonna let that sit while we get to shredding our short rib. Now one really good indication that you got this recipe right is the audience that starts to gather when you shred it. In this instance, I think we nailed it. Okay, so once the crowds disperse, it's really important that we wanna hang on to this braising liquid. It is just packed full of flavor in there. So we're gonna strain it through a fine mesh strainer and we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. After a few minutes, you will notice a slight layer of fat that is sitting on top of it, which you can easily spoon off and throw away. Okay, now we can put it all together. So first, we're gonna mix that meat into our slaw mix from earlier, and we're gonna gradually spoon in about a quarter cup of that braising liquid that you totally didn't throw away, right? Now, you want a consistency that's virgin on soggy, but that's a terrible word, so just a little bit of crunch from the slaw to it. Okay, so let's talk about the wrappers. Elephant in the room here. Should I have made my own for this? Absolutely. Would it have made it better? Almost certainly. Did I? No. I just didn't have time on this occasion, but if you do want a video on how to make those, leave a comment down below and we'll make it happen. And since we're confessing things, confession number two, I'm really not that great at wrapping these. It takes nothing but practice to get better, and by the fifth one, you'll find your groove, but it is a little bit frustrating at first, you'll get it down. 
What is important is to make these little crimps or folds in the dough to make sure that the steam doesn't escape. Having a little bowl of water next to you for your fingers to keep them from sticking to the dough is also a must. Okay, so now we're just gonna get a pan on medium heat and we're gonna put in some oil. We're gonna let that heat up a little bit and you're gonna put your pot stickers in face down and we're gonna add about a quarter cup of water. You're gonna give these a quick steam until that water evaporates and once it does, you're gonna leave them in there until that belly is nice and golden brown, looking something like this. And there you have it. After a nice long day and I'm sure a few new skills that you've learned, it's time to eat these. You can top them with some sesame seeds and some green onion for garnish and we're gonna serve that with a soy sauce or really anything you want. Maybe some of that braising liquid earlier. I'm not gonna tell you what to do here. The one thing I am gonna tell you to do is make these because there is something about biting into that soft but crispy wrapper and being met with the crunch of the slaw, the richness of the short rib that make these seriously addictive. And I mean addictive. I cannot stop making these, I cannot stop eating them. Please help. So seriously, I'm telling you right now, give these a shot and go make them. I promise you, you are not gonna regret them. And if you do like the recipe, if you do like the video, please take a second, go down below, like, subscribe, hit the little bell button to be notified when my next video comes out because you're definitely not gonna wanna miss what's coming next. And once again, thank you all so much for the support and I will be seeing you soon. See ya.